and welcome back to the channel on this video I'm going to be riding the Lyric Graffiti as you see it right there and it is windy and cold out here it's 68 degrees but the wind is a little more than that or a little less than the 68 degrees I should say but pretty good uh, otherwise pretty good looking weather for a ride and I'm just going to get started here and then let you know what we're going to talk about so recently on a video I did one where I talked about changing the laws from class levels of e-bikes to speed limit that's something I'd like to see and I don't know if that'll ever come to be um, but I'd like to see it and today I want to talk about something else that I'd like to see Let's see what this guy is doing here okay he's backing in and it's a safety thing uh, that I would like to see um, I mean they have laws right now and what I'm going to talk about is turn signals and I've talked about this before and I think it's time to get rid of the old hand signal laws and the reason why I think it's time to update first of all that law has been around forever the old hand signals I don't think people can see good enough in my opinion uh, hand signals and I think the other thing is I don't think it's a wise thing to take your hands off the handlebars be it the left or right hand I mean right now Uh, I'm using my thumb throttle, which is on the right. What's with everybody backing into their driveways on this video? Okay. So I'm using, on the right, I'm using my thumb throttle. And then on the left, well, I might want to use my brake. First of all, I have regenerative braking on this bike, and I use it almost exclusively. I'd say at least 90% or 95% of the time and I'm going to do it right here as we come up to a stop sign but uh see that I it's it looks like a throttle but it's a it's the brakes and I use that all the time well, if I'm braking as I'm coming to a stop if I'm going to put up my um, hand to uh, indicate where I'm turning it's kind of difficult to have the brake on at the same time as you're wanting to put a hand signal out there so I think I think it's time to update these laws and get turn signals on all bikes make it a mandatory situation where you have to have turn signals on the bike the manufacturer of the bike or company must put signals on the bike I think not only should they put signals but make them clearly visible I don't like the ones that are integrated into the turn into the uh, brake light or tail light because you can't see those. You got to make them kind of like what they what they have on a motorcycle. And uh, I think it's time to update and do that. I think it would be a lot safer for everybody. They would have two hands on the handlebar and. I think cars around them or other cyclists or whomever, pedestrians, would have a easier time seeing what their, the indicator, uh, what their intentions are of the cyclist. Let me know in the comments if you're in agreement with this or disagreement and why, either way, why do you agree with it? Why do you disagree? with this uh, why would you want it to basically stay the same I just think it's time to update it and like I said let's make them clearly visible and not just put them on the front or just on the back you need them on both because you have cars coming both ways right you've got cars coming at you and you've got cars coming behind you so I don't know that's it's almost to me like a no-brainer 
Yeah, it might up the value of the bike a little bit. You may have to spend a little bit more, but I don't think you want to have to put them on afterwards. I think they need to come with the bike when you get the bike already on there, ready to go. Uh, same thing with the uh, bikes that don't have a brake light. Why? Why don't they have a brake light? That's an important thing, I think, on the bike to show that you're coming to a stop or slowing down. So if you are on the road like I am right now, they can see that you're coming to a stop. This bike does have a brake light, but there's several out there that don't. And right along with the turn signals, I think that's the other thing. I think it's important to have good lighting not just for night riding like a headlight but also indicators to let the cars and whomever else is sharing the road with you uh, know what your intentions are. So let me know in the comments uh, what you think. It's just a su suggestion for me, but it's something that I feel pretty passionate about that, that, that they need to uh, move, move ahead with the times and get some real lighting on there. And don't worry about trying to do a hand signal. Imagine at night when people have a hard enough time seeing you as it is, trying to put your arm out there to signal which way you're turning, people aren't going to see that. Let's get some lights. That's going to do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for doing that. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And... Once again, thank you for joining me on this video, and until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.